Welcome to another edition of Beer for Breakfast ABV, and we are live today, if you will, on tape, on digital, from the World Bistro Gardens at Stone Brewing Company headquarters in beautiful Escondido, California. Steve Wagner, the co-founder of the Stone Brewing Company, is joining us today. Good to see wow. you, Steve. Nice to see it you. It's been a while, buddy. I know. We just realized it's about four years since we've shared a beer together. It is. Know? Yeah, it's, it's been uh, way, way too yeah. long. You look exactly the same. You look exactly the no, same. No, no, no. I've got you know, in my old. age, it's uh, you know, it's getting older. It's less hair in the right places, more hair in the wrong places. <laughs> that's as long as we're not talking about hair of the dog, I'm we're owning in good it shape. though, so we're okay. Producer Danielle is here, everyone, and joining me to my right is our returning champion, Garrett Michaels, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back, Garrett Michaels. Cheers. Good to see you, buddy. So uh, we're here on the occasion of Stone's 21st anniversary, one of the great original craft brewers here in San Diego County. You've been at it for so long. You've got a big festival happening this weekend in San Marcos. Yep. That's a classic. Yep. Uh, and you've got a special 21st anniversary beer to celebrate the occasion. Can we taste it now? Yes. <laughs> yes. Congratulations on finally being old enough to drink. Thank you. Way. I know we're legal now. So <laughs> that's a big it's one. Long enough. Yeah. yeah now this a big is the 21st us. anniversary Hail to the Hop Thief Double IPA. Correct. Correct. Uh, you know we like our IPAs at Stone Brewing. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, it's a 9.8 percent alcohol double IPA with uh, yes. Peco and Mosaic hops featured in it. Yeah, I have fur so, in my knuckles just hearing Steve say that. That's yeah, awesome. it's a beautiful thing. Maybe we should taste it and then I'll talk yes, about okay. it a little bit. So. Sounds like a plan. Cheers. Well, all right. Cheers. 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 Nice to be back. Mm. Ah. Oh my goodness. What, are people working around here or something? <laughs> Keep it down. Wow. You guys always bring the hop, don't you? That's a classic <laughs> oh. stone move. This is terrific. So I get some nice uh, peach character, a little bit of orange. Uh, from the hops, you know, it's all hops. It's not uh, anything added. It's unfiltered, so you get more of that hop character coming through, and uh, it it does not drink like a nearly 10% beer, which can be dangerous. So be careful. Yeah. Out there, right. Right. In the words of Paul, it's a sniper. Very <laughs> much so. Exactly. Very much so. And it is out. It it has been released uh, last week, I believe. So fine beer establishments around the country should be able to get it. So wow, that is check delicious. It out you can drink a lot of this, and I need to make sure that I don't make any plans after I've drank a lot of this. <laughs> now, what do you have planned for uh, this weekend in San Marcos? So, uh, our 21st festival, um, same, you know, sort of the same format. We have a Friday night brewer's reception where a lot of our guest brewers will be hanging out, a chance to talk to them, have uh, about 40 beers on tap, some really good food that's included with the ticket. Uh, Steve's Cigar Lounge, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, and then Saturday we have the two sessions. Uh, I think it's one to four and five to eight. And I believe there's still some, some tickets available. Well, it's hard to say at this point. <laughs> right? But check it out. Um, Cal State San Marcos. That we'll have, yeah, at Cal State San Marcos. It's on three levels there at that beautiful campus. Uh, 50 plus breweries, 100 plus beers on tap, food, uh, cigars again, just because I'm a personal <laughs> right. fan. So you'll know where to find me. And uh, yeah. You know, it's a, a huge fundraiser. I mean, we've, we, we add it all up. We've raised about $2 million from our anniversary event over the years. So That's uh, great. Steve. Yeah. And we expect, uh, you know, eight to 10,000 people over the two days. Uh, I don't know. We used to call ourselves the largest beer festival, but I'm, I think Beer X has given us a run for our money now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a party, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah, 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 definitely. Now, 91X will be broadcasting live from a noon until 7 yep. as part of that as well. We're thrilled to be a part of it this yeah. year. It's great. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll this come, is my I'll come first anniversary. You guys. I'm so excited. Your first my anniversary. My first one. Yeah, I'm wow. super excited. And I've always heard about it. I've always heard yeah. about the Stone Anniversary Beer Festival, and I've just never made it up, so I'm super excited yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. Well, bring a sweater. It's a little cool up there. At this <laughs> I don't, I don't so. believe you right now. What are you doing? <laughs> And one of the things that uh, I remember about a Stone when I first became aware of Stone Brewing was that not only were you brewing these terrific beers, a lot of real hop forward beers, but you were also um, our distribution outlet as well. It's true. It's true. We run a distribution company for uh, Southern California and we distribute, I think it's over 40 uh, fellow craft brewers from around the country and around the world, actually. And, and I, uh, uh, you know, give our, our fellow brewers access to, to the market. and. Yeah. Uh, and uh, support them that way. You know, when we started Stone, there was no option for us in distribution, so we, we had to do it ourselves, and uh, we've grown that into a nice business that helps support craft brewers. So. And 
I, I have wound up sampling so many different uh, different craft beers because of your distribution arm, and just mm -hmm. because you guys are fans yep. of craft yep. beer. I mean, that tactical nuclear I, penguin. Yep. I still remember that one. You know, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that that's a scar beer. that will yeah, not yeah. heal. I don't think. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, but one of the beers we're going to try is. Um, uh, a newer beer from the Hop Concept. Yes, the Hop Concept, based in San Marcos, uh, brainchild of our friend Tommy Arthur, and uh, they make a, a series of, of IPAs that feature different hop characters. This one is called Citrusy and Piney, the Hop Concept. So, take Citrusy a little taste of that. Piney. So it's telling you what you should be able to pick out. So let's see if we can. So. A bit of Tommy Arthur. A bit of Tommy mm. Arthur. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I get the uh, I get the citrusy more in the the nose and the up front, the front of the palate, and then the piney more in the finish. But it's nice. That is very nice. So, did you guys realize the initials of the hop concept is THC? <laughs> My teenagers told me what that well, stands for. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, is that right? Yeah, I've it's, never uh, heard that it's the Thierry Henry Club. <laughs> oh, it is? Fans. Yeah. So. <laughs> I had a suspicion, yeah. but now you've confirmed it. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'm just joking. Kids, if you're listening, don't smoke narcotics, please. please. No, but you should have a beer. Yeah. Uh, and, and you should start with the Hop Concept Citrusy and Piney. Let's uh, give this a sample, you guys. Mm. Cheers. 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 Stunt leaf. Mm. It's mm. part of the set. Mm -hmm. God, this is so good. It's a great combination. This is so good. Thank you, Tommy. This one is, uh, I think it's definitely available on draft because we have it on tap here at the Bistro, but uh, I believe it's also available in cans as well. So, All right. so this is news to me. I didn't know that you guys carry other people's beers. We do. I had no idea. That's really cool. It's like, you know, spreading the wealth, you know, sharing it along with everybody else. Yeah. I mean, that's like, like Tommy mentioned, we got into this business, my partner Greg Cook and I, because we're huge craft beer fans. And, uh, you know, we're not the only ones who make good beer. There's a lot of, especially in San Diego, there's a lot of great beer. So, so I have we to like ask feature you. them at our bistro and, and, you know, help distribute them as well when they need it. So, so 21 years ago, when you and Greg got together and you did this, yes. and it's, you know, something that there wasn't anybody else, you know, out there, what was the reaction people were giving you guys as you were coming out with these beers that weren't, you know, light, fizzy beers you know like what like what, i mean what was the reaction at that point you know i mean we we did get a few doors slammed in our face some people saying i mean our first beer was stone pale ale but it was on the hoppy side and it was a little darker than people thought a pale ale should be because it was based more on an english style of pale ale mm -hmm. and uh you know we got a lot of it's too bitter it's too dark we don't want it type of thing so you know it was it was slow going in those days to do did it. you ever you know, i gotta like, give greg credit because he was the the sales uh, the salesman on the team I yeah, was the greg, greg was the guy who had to go out there yeah. and pedal the beer was pounding, the, <laughs> pounding the streets and uh making it happen and well, he definitely and he did, did you know? it and it's uh and i think gradually what we've seen over the last 20 years is is you know people's palates have changed right and mm -hmm. yeah it's very true we, we helped to make that happen to expose people to what what beer could be you know it could be hot beer it could be more flavorful have more character so it's been uh, a fun journey. He played a big role in tenderizing everyone's taste buds and really expanding <laughs> that outside of Southern California. Now you can find stone uh, all over most of the United States. Yeah, right? actually, I, I think as of this year, we're in all 50 states. All right. Yeah. Rad. Now before we Utah get to was our... the last one. I won't. I'm not <laughs> sure why, but it's a very clean, well kept state yeah. there, though, isn't it? Uh, now before we With get to our our, fi our final Donny Osmond, everyone, uh, mm -hmm. our final beer of uh, of the day. I wanted to ask you. So you mentioned the Stone Pale Ale. Yes. And, and the Stone IPA, you know, yes. and, and the Stone IPA, that was really the IPA that pushed me over the edge and was like, oh, I love this, this beer. Yep, yep. Now, so are, are you the one that came up with those formulas? I did come up with that, the recipe for uh, the original Stone IPA. So that was, actually, it's its 20th anniversary because we released that beer on our one year anniversary oh. in 1997. So this year it's 20 years for Stone IPA, which is pretty cool to think, you know, I never thought that's amazing. I would brew a beer and it would still be around, still be our best seller 20 years in. I mean, that's crazy. And that is absolutely durable. I, I, I can't think of any uh, other IPA that when you, when you go and you get something to eat, it's like, oh, Stone IPA. Yeah. You know what you're getting, and it's a classic. 
Well, well and you have to you. look at how that paved the way for so many of the IPAs we love. Yep. You know, that's, yep. you know, I would think that, you know, the granddaddy of IPAs is the Stone IPA. And without it, we wouldn't have all these other amazing yeah. IPAs. Well, I mean, you know, to give credit where credit's due, we were influenced by other brewers that were in town here when we started, you know. Right. I mean, Vinny at Russian River and uh, the Pizza Port folks, you know, they had their uh, awesome IPAs. And we were, you know, we kind of built on that. And... Uh, yeah. You've always said that, though. I mean, you've always given credit to the other brewers that influenced you guys. Absolutely. And, you know, I mean, I would have never been turned on to Blind Pink from mm-hmm. Russian River if it wasn't yep. for you. And you were the guy who pointed that out to me years ago, that yeah. that was a beer that really influenced you guys. Yeah. And yeah. actually, that's the, the name of our 21st anniversary double IPA is Hail to the Hop Thief. And that's yeah. kind of a tongue-in-cheek tribute to the fact that, you know, we all inspire and borrow from each other. And uh, it was kind of, it's also a little Radiohead. <laughs> one of my favorite bands, but you know, that's shoulders fun. of giants. Yep. <laughs> so you'll notice, by the way, that if you look at the beers, Tommy has finished his. It's going to get interesting later. <laughs> I uh, just very, very thirsty on the way up here today. So, uh, and Radiohead references always go over very, very well with the 91X crowd. So the last beer that we're going to try for this ABV segment is a collaboration that you guys recently did. He got some great yep. press about it. Why don't you tell us about it? Yeah, so we did a uh, collaboration with Fat Mike from No Effects. Uh, pretty excited to do this. It's a special beer. It's just going to be released in cities where their tour is going later this summer. So I think it's coming out at the end of the month, August 28th or 29th, something like that. So Utah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, Utah. Um, so we have a, a sneak peek of it here. It actually hasn't been released yet, hasn't been packaged yet, but we have a... Uh, a special secret can that we were able to bring. Right. It's a it's a hoppy lager. It's a 5.8 percent alcohol. It's a, it's like lagers used to be. You know, they actually used to be hoppy, I believe. Yeah. And actually have some hop character and, uh, but still be a drinkable summer beer and something to enjoy at a, a no effects concert. Right Cheers on. then. Cheers. Cheers. Can't wait to try this one. Yeah. Yes. And how did the collaboration come about? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to. I'm not sure which way the first, you know, the first uh, reaching out came. I yeah. got to know what kind of uh, trouble Fat Mike got into while he was here. I saw on social media he was here. Yeah. I talked to Laura. I was like, so what kind of trouble did Fat Mike get into? Because I know the trouble he got into at the station. Yeah. So I can only imagine here. He was, he was pretty well behaved from what I heard, you know? We, uh, <laughs> It's all for, relative, for right? Mike, but, he, for Fat yeah. Mike, he was very well behaved. <laughs> no, he was <laughs> really into the brewing process and really interested in oh, it. Oh, is so that it was right? cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was a lot well, of fun. Well, we know he's a fan. I mean, uh, you know, it's funny. We just announced this year's edition of Yee Scallywag, and No Effects were alum. They were the inaugural band to headline Scallywag last year, and he was so enthusiastic about being at Scallywag and all the great beer and stuff last year, so it's not surprising yeah. that he would follow through and hook up with you guys to do this. And, of course, their tour they're doing that you guys have helped to support. It's awesome. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, this is a fantastic beer. Isn't man. it great? I it's could really drink a lot of this. I know. That's trouble. Part of the idea. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that this is a good introductory beer to someone who wants to get into craft beer. Mm-hmm. You know, it has a lot of body behind it, but it's yeah. not overly bitter. It's not overly hopped, but you still have like a little bit Some of a kick behind right? it. Yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's not emasculated. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> I won't name any names, but there are beers out there. (laughs) Steve, I have to ask you, you know, years ago, um, I mean, we've been hanging around with this guy for a long time. Mm -hmm. Um, You turned me on to Hoppy Pilsners. I think the very first beer, a beer that you guys distributed, Victory Prima Pils. Prima Pils. Still one of my favorites. And still one of my favorite beers, and you turned me on to that. But it seems like recent years, there's more and more craft brewers that are now exploring the Pilsner style, the lager style and stuff. Can you address that a little bit? Yeah. I mean, I think it's... You know, obviously people are trying to differentiate. There's a lot of brewers out there and people want to explore more of the traditional styles and find something unique. But I think also it's, you know, we're getting older, right? We talked about it. I mean, sometimes you just want a beer that's a little lower in ABV but still has some nice character. And uh, it's a beautiful style of beer. It's just, it's kind of been ruined by, you know, mega industrial brewers. And uh, to bring it back to what it should be, what it could be. You're taking it back. We're taking it back. Yeah, absolutely. Especially today, we're taking Absolutely, we are. Well, Steve, whatever one might say about Stone, you are you are not arrogant at all. You are certainly <laughs> not a bastard. It is always a pleasure to be in your presence and enjoying some beer with you. 
and this has just been a lot of fun. So we're looking forward to uh, the 19th at San Marcos. Yeah. Big beer yeah. celebration, 21st anniversary. Congratulations once Thank again. You. Thank Congratulations you. Congratulations on the 20th anniversary of Stone <laughs> IPA. Wow. That's pretty which cool. Which is huge. And again, 91X be broadcasting live on the 19th from Cal State San Marcos for the 21st anniversary broadcast from noon until 7. And hopefully you can get a chance and check out the Stone 21st anniversary. Hail to the Hop Thief double IPA. 9.8%. Um, it's got to be worth it, kids. Trust me. So, <laughs> available now in Utah. Uh, also, make sure you check out the radio edition of uh, Beer for Breakfast. We do that Friday mornings at 8.45, and we're always rolling out a new edition of the Beer for Breakfast ABV on Facebook Live. That usually happens Tuesday evenings, and then we'll get it posted the next day at 91X. Thanks again, Steve Wagner, everyone, Cheers, the co-founder of Stone Brewing Company, the, the creator of the Pale Ale and Stone IPA, Producer Danielle, returning champion Garrett Michaels, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. Thanks for joining Cheers. and spending Cheers. some time with us Thanks, at 91x.com. Beer for breakfast, everyone. Cheers. Cheers.